Edvotech instructional video, how to store your agarose gels. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Danielle Snowflack and I am a scientist at Edvotech. Let's discuss a common question that we receive about our DNA electrophoresis experiments. How long can I store the gels after I stain them? This is an important question because sometimes classes end before the experiment has completed. And we wanna be able to see those results in a later class. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a powerful biotechnology technique that uses electricity and a porous gel matrix to separate mixtures of DNA molecules into discrete zones or bands based on its size. But DNA is clear and colorless, so we need something to help us visualize our results. Most times we use dyes that stick to the clear colorless strands of DNA, making the bands visible to the naked eye. There are several DNA stains available for use in the classroom laboratory, but I'm gonna talk about two of my favorite, CyberSafe and Flash Blue. Both stains are dye molecules that bind DNA, making it visible. However, they work differently. Flash Blue is a visible DNA stain, meaning that the DNA shows up as dark blue bands in light blue gel. CyberSafe also binds to DNA, but it is a fluorescent stain. This means we can see the DNA bands glow with emitted light when we shine blue or UV light on the gel. But how long do these dyes last after staining? Can I keep my gel to visualize it the next day or next week? Well, let's try it. In this video, we are going to run some agarose gels. We're going to visualize the DNA using Flash Blue and CyberSafe, and then we're going to test some storage conditions. And hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll have a great way to store your gels over a longer period of time. So here is our experimental setup. I've poured two 0.8% agarose gels. I'm going to cover them in buffer and load them with DNA from Edvotech Kit 109, a DNA fingerprinting experiment. We're going to put the cover on our electrophoresis chamber and turn on the electricity. The gels run for at least 20 minutes at 150 volts to ensure good separation between the bands. For flash blue, there are two protocols that we can use to stain the DNA. For this video, we're going to do the quick protocol, which stains DNA in around 20 minutes. We can also soak the gel overnight in a dilute flash blue solution. This is a great option if you have a shorter lab period because you can soak the gel and visualize it the next day. CyberSafe DNA stain is used differently. The dye is added to the molten agarose so that it stains the DNA while the gel is running. The advantage is that we don't have to spend a lot of time staining the gel after performing electrophoresis, but we do need to have a special piece of equipment that shines blue light on the gel to be able to see the stained DNA. After the gels have been stained, we can observe the DNA banding patterns. In the flash blue stain gel, we see dark blue DNA bands on a light blue background. In some places, the background is a bit dark and it can make it a bit difficult to see some of the smaller bands in this picture. In person, they are more obvious. With the CyberSafe stain gel, we can see all of the DNA bands, even the smallest in size, are very bright white on the dark background. Now, let's store the gels to see how the staining holds up over time. The gel is placed on plastic cling wrap and a little bit of buffer is pipetted on top. The gel is then wrapped up and placed in the refrigerator at 4 degrees C. I'd put it in a small box or on a solid surface just to make sure that the gel doesn't get any funny lumps or bumps from storage. 24 hours post staining, the gels still look great. In fact, the flash blue stain gel actually looks a little better. This is because excess unbound dye diffused through the gel a bit, allowing us to better see the DNA bands. In the CyberSafe stain gel, all the bands remain bright and easily visible. 48 hours post staining, the flash blue stain gel still looks great. At this point, however, some of the smaller bands in the CyberSafe stain gels are starting to dim. This is again because of diffusion of the dye. If you're only visualizing larger DNA fragments, however, you're still good to go. Now, believe it or not, fully five days after running the gels, the flash blue gel still looks great. Your students can easily visualize the results. However, in the CyberSafe stain gel, we've lost the crispness of the bands. We're getting some diffusion of both the dye and the DNA. And because this is a very sensitive stain, we can see the bands get a bit fuzzy and hard to interpret, especially the smaller molecular weight ones. So for the best results with gel visualization, especially if you can't get to the gel right away, just remember these rules. Number one, put a little buffer on your gel and then wrap it with cling wrap. 
Number two, store your gel at four degrees centigrade. And number three, visualize your cyber gels within two days and your flash blue gels within four. And you'll get great results. For more information, be sure to check out our blog post on saving your gels. You can find it linked in the description of this video, or you can use your phone to snap this QR code. We pride ourselves on providing the highest quality customer service for our teachers. Call, email, or send us a message on social media.